American to bike ride the Great Wall of China. As Larry Good discovers, Foster brings his red and white and blue mountain bike back with a few feeling of pride. Oh, the adventures that this Cannondale 18-speed mountain bike could relive of 1,500 miles across China's Great Wall, if only it could talk. You unhook the seat and you pump. The bike seat would tell you of three-inch long thorns which flattened several tires. Water bottles would remember being sucked dry crossing the Gobi Desert. And this automatic gear shift would recall the spills on several sections of the wall, which literally crumbled away as a result of decay. Sure, it was scary when I nearly lost my life twice. Uh, I went through uh, dehydration, heat stroke. I was hospitalized twice. I cracked a rib, which I'm still healing from. Healing is what Kevin Foster has been doing since age eight. 65,000 volts from a power line blew this hole in his leg. He had to relearn how to walk to talk, and most importantly, how to ride a bike. From the wall in the battling province, which is most familiar to Westerners, to the flatlands of the Gobi Desert, Foster was in both heaven and hell. There's a section called Heaven's Ladder. It goes straight up a sheer cliff, and it's one foot wide. And to crawl up on that, and it's a 500-year-old structure, and he returns to Ojai with a greater sense of pride and appreciation for home and country. That's the beauty of this, uh, of being in this country, is that I've heard from a lot of the Chinese that they have dreams too, and as they tell me, they say the difference is that we don't have the chance to pursue our dreams, and you do. I mean, I went through my stages too when I was a kid and knocked this country, and, and uh, you know, like a lot, of these, uh, a lot of these kids do today, they knock it, and who cares about America, but if you have the opportunity to go to a country like China or another you know, communist country and stay there for a good deal of time, you come back and you want to kiss the ground because you know, that, you know that I lost a lot of my freedom there. In Ojai, Larry Good, Key News. Foster plans to write about his three-month, 1,500-mile adventure in his red, white, and blue mountain bike, which he brought back. He also <laughs> hopes to play a role in a movie about the ride. <laughs> I'll say he does. That was a great experience for me as it was for him. I'm sure yes. I felt like I was on the Great Wall. Treacherous, treacherous ride through that, wasn't it?